Well, thanks very much, uh, Ian. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, Maritime Quality Milk is primarily uh, a dairy research organization for uh, Atlantic Canada and, and Canada in general, but we do have some, some international activities, so I'd like to share, share that with you. Um, we're primarily uh, working with, uh, with two groups. Uh, we have uh, had some excellent uh, graduate students from Egypt. We have no projects there, but, uh, but we're working with, uh, with Egypt. Uh, and, and our main research activities internationally have been in, in Colombia. I uh, just want to uh, mention some, some graduate students that we have had uh, and, and is currently back here as a, as a postdoc. Uh, uh, Ahmed El Mosulmani uh, came uh, here about uh, six or seven years ago, uh, a, an excellent student uh, from Tanta University uh, in, in Egypt. Uh, Ahmed uh, had an ex uh, did a, a wonderful project. It was based on milk quality here in Prince Edward Island, uh, and he uh, uh, published uh, extensively from from his uh, from his PhD thesis. and And uh, it's a, a collaboration with uh, with Egypt that we're very proud of. Uh, he was funded through. Um, through the Egyptian uh, consulate uh, to come here, and we provided project funding uh, locally. Uh, we've renewed that relationship. We have a new uh, graduate student from, from Egypt as well, a different university this time, uh, and he's working on a project on uh, bovine uh, immunology, uh, determining using a FTIR or infrared technology for determining uh, immunoglobulin content in in serum and eventually colostrum. As I mentioned, most of our activity has actually been in, um, in Colombia uh, and uh, most of our international activity. And this started uh, also with a graduate student, uh, Alejandro Ceballos, uh, uh, who came from Colombia to uh, work on micronutrient management uh, with uh, Jeff Wichtel. Uh, and uh, he invited uh, me uh, down to Colombia to do some uh, seminars um, sponsored by the pharmaceutical industry there. Uh, and that led to uh, a series of, uh, of uh, uh, relationships that developed there. Uh, on my second trip, uh, I met with a group, uh, an organization called Colanta, which is uh, a cooperative uh, dairy processor there. Uh, they process about 30% of the, the milk in Colombia. And we talked about what would move their industry forward. Uh, and they were wanting to focus on, on milk quality, uh, reducing somatic cell count, reducing bacteria count uh, in milk. So this is uh, a summary of some research that we did there. Uh, this was presented at the uh, International uh, uh, Symposium on Mastitis and Milk Quality in St. Louis in, in September of this year. And you can see the collaborators are uh, from universities in Colombia and also from the, from the private sector there. Uh, the Colombian dairy industry uh, is really poised to, uh, to make uh, incredible gains. Um, it's, uh, they've got uh, uh, incredible potential because of their temperate climate, uh, uh, excellent rainfall, uh, and, and so they have a, a grass-based uh, dairy industry. It's uh, a very important part of their uh, GDP, uh, their agricultural GDP, uh, and they have some issues. Uh, their main uh, trading partner for milk uh, right now is Venezuela, uh, and uh, that's a little bit of an unstable relationship. Uh, and so they would like to improve their milk quality so they, they can trade more widely uh, in, in uh, that part of the world. Um, so when I was there the second time, we, we decided we needed to uh, identify the key predictors of milk quality, and I asked them uh, whether they knew what the prevalence of this particular organism, uh, Streptococcus agalactia, uh, was in their country, uh, and they, they did not. Uh, so we organized a, a, a research project funded by um, uh, ICA, which is the uh, uh, Canadian uh, Latin American uh, cooperation uh, agreement uh, and also from the World Veterinary Congress uh, funds. Uh, we did a survey of uh, bulk tanks there uh, to determine the prevalence of this uh, of this organism. As part of that we also had an exchange of people uh, so we had uh, some uh, technical support 
uh, from our organization go down and train their technicians in, in the uh, culture technology uh, for the organism. We found that the overall prevalence of this organism was 42%. Uh, just to put that in perspective, that's similar to what it was in North America about 30 years ago. And we've enacted some very aggressive control programs, and now the prevalence here is about 1% or 2%. So this is a controllable disease, and, and so uh, uh, it's, uh, we're very excited that we can make a difference by, by addressing this issue. Um, we also looked at what was the impact of having this organism on the Colombian dairy industry. And somatic cell count, or SCC, is something we measure uh, as a predictor of quality. And you can see here that the somatic cell count in the herds that were uh, infected with this organism were quite uh, a bit higher than, than, uh, than the uh, negative herds. So, so uh, uh, it is a major driver of quality in, in the country. So, this organism is a major uh, uh, issue for the industry there. There's a high prevalence. Uh, it's having a substantial effect on their milk quality. Um, but that leads also to opportunities. Uh, and so we've developed uh, additional research projects. Uh, we have a, a new graduate student from there, Julian Reyes. Uh, who has personal funding from the Colombian Science Council, essentially. Um, we have some additional funding, again, from ICA uh, to, uh, to start a research project, and we're trying to uh, uh, move, that, uh, move that forward. We're looking at uh, what are the risk factors for this organism in that country. What is, uh, we're doing some molecular epidemiology as well uh, with the organism to uh, determine the best control strategies that will work for them. Uh, just some pictures of, uh, of some of our collaborators. Uh, Alejandro Ceballos uh, is there, uh, pictured with myself and, and uh, Marcella Londano. She is the uh, head of uh, quality control for the major uh, processor, so we're working very closely with them. Uh, the other person is uh, Nicholas Ramirez, uh, pictured with me here as well. Uh, Nicholas uh, is a faculty member at the University of Antioquia and was here last semester for the semester taking some epidemiology training and working on a data set he has uh, for this organism. So I guess we're taking questions later, so thank you. <laughs>